my fellow Americans, we are at war. Not with each other and not even with the immigrants, but with the season known as Christmas. Fox News is going to love this episode. Welcome to the FWAT Show. I'm Rob Steele. That's Jesus Jones in the background. No, their opinion is not weighed in this show in any way, shape, or form. They haven't told me one way or the other. They may agree. They may disagree. Frankly, it doesn't matter. It's my show. It's their music. Anyway, yes, Fox News for years has been saying there's a war on Christmas. Take all your Christmas stuff and display it proudly for there is a war on against the holiday. And that's bullshit. Uh, it is. It's it's not the holiday itself. There is not a problem with the holiday itself. There is not a war against Christianity concerning this holiday. I'm not sure how many times I have to say it before it sinks in. The holiday is fine. It promotes peace, love, and understanding. And the sooner you f***ing Christians realize that, the better off we'll be. But no. You don't. You see, the, the war on the holiday season known as Christmas. The Christmas season, that's what we have a problem with. And I officially joined that war this year. Against the Christmas season, I did. I, I didn't have much of a choice. I joined in mid-October because my wife sent me to the store because of Big G cereals. Now, Big G cereals makes the ones that you just see at Halloween now. They used to be out all the time. Count Chocula, Frankenberry, Boo Berry. You remember those cereals from when you were a kid? Millennials, they used to be around all year. Not just Halloween. Anyway, they're just Halloween things now, and my wife loves Count Chocula. That's a thing. So, I was sent to the store to get Count Chocula in mid-October. Bearing in mind, Halloween is the end of October. Mid-October, I go to five different grocery stores that I know carry Count Chocula. All of them, all of them have had their Count Chocula replaced with Christmas f***ing tinsel, decorations, trees, and what is it? Captain Crunch's Christmas berries, which just sounds wrong on so many levels. So yeah, I joined the war against the Christmas season this year because that's too damn early. Serious, and I saw this as well, Santa Claus, who if we're honest is based on St. Nicholas who has nothing to do with Christmas. I'll get to that later. Santa Claus should not appear in Columbus Day ads hawking mattresses. Granted, I'm not sure what mattresses have to do with Columbus either, but that's not the point. I've ne they've got all those, those damn Christmas carols in the background. I've never heard of a mattress carol. They're Christmas carols. Don't give me this. Oh, they're mattress songs. No, ding, 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 ding. that's a damn annoying song. I don't, the, the, the bell thing. No, no. And they're not songs. You Christians get pissy about that too. They're not songs, they're carols. I've only known one carol in my life personally. I'm not talking about Carol Burnett. I've never met her. I've only known one carol. She was nice. She was sweet. She f***ing hated Christmas because of the songs. Come on, Carol, sing us a Christmas carol. Ha 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 ha. all of you, she would say. And rightly so. Because do you Christians not realize that between October 31st and January 15th, there are roughly 29 holidays observed by the seven major religions of the world. Not just Christmas. It's not just Christmas. 29 holidays. And that's not even counting the ones that we made up to support the country or other things. I mean, let, let's look at these. October 31st, Halloween. We kind of celebrate that one, but Santa Claus keeps poking his ass into it. In November, you've got All Saints Day. That's Christian. I don't know any other religion that has saints in it. Dios los muertos. I'm afraid I don't know what that one is, but I know it's a big thing. All Souls Day. The general election. The U.S. general election. The first Tuesday in November. That should be a holiday. Celebrate that. By the way, get out and vote. How about the U.S. Marine Corps Day on the 10th? Veterans Day on the 11th? Sadie Hawkins Day? World Diabetes Day? Thanksgiving, for Christ's sake. 
and I phrase it that way on purpose. Do you remember Thanksgiving? The holiday Santa Claus had nothing to do with? Yeah. You remember the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade? I'll get to that in a minute, too. Let's look at some other holidays. How about in December, World AIDS Awareness Day? Or Hanukkah? There's another religious holiday that you Christians can't have a problem with because Jesus celebrated it. Hello? He was a Jew. Starts on December 2nd. How about repeal the 21st Amendment Day? That's a thing. St. Nicholas Day. Remember St. Nick became Santa Claus? That's December 6th, not the 25th. Look, opposite ends of the month have very little to do with each other. Pearl Harbor Day. Granted, I don't think we really celebrate Pearl Harbor. Maybe they do in Japan. I don't know. International Children's Day. Human Rights Day. Bill of Rights Day. The Winter Solstice. That's another big thing. Festivus. Boxing Day. Kwanzaa. Look at all these holidays. It's not just Christmas. It's not just me either who's fed up with Santa Claus being everywhere. Seriously, you don't have to start celebrating Christmas in what? Where was the earliest ad I saw this year? Uh, September. September. October, November, December. Four months early. Why do you need to start celebrating four months in advance? You don't. And it annoys the crap out of the rest of us. If you didn't have the carols, we might be able to put up with it. And if you didn't shove Santa Claus up our ass every time we looked even in the general direction of a store, we might be able to, you know, put up with you and your obsession, obsession with this holiday. But Rob, the baby Jesus was born 2,000 years ago. Here's a spoiler alert. He's going to die at Easter. Not sure how you don't know that either. I'm a, I'm a damn amazed that the Easter bunny doesn't show up at you know, the day after Christmas. Buy your eggs. Buy your eggs. Keeps poking into other holidays. Thanksgiving. I mentioned the Thanksgiving Day Parade. The Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. It's a big deal. It really is. It promotes Macy's and their endless one-day sales. Fine. But you know what? The last thing they have in that Thanksgiving Day Parade is Santa. Do you know why they do that? It's done on purpose. The reason Santa is the last balloon that goes by in the Thanksgiving Day Parade is because it's not really okay to start celebrating Christmas before then because there's other things going on. Not before Thanksgiving. Don't do that. It pisses people off. If you agree with that or disagree with that, contact me through the website, thefwatshow.com, where there's buttons for Facebook and Twitter and email and subscription buttons where you can subscribe to the show on iTunes or the Google Play Store or YouTube or even hit up the Fwat Shop. You can get Christmas presents there year-round, although I'm not going to advertise it that way ever, even in December. No, not going to do it. Still, Go there, pick up a hat, or a phone case, or a pillow, or a poster, something. It all goes to support the Coil Entertainment Network, and unlike you Christians, I appreciate your support. By the way, I know it's not all Christians. I know some of you are laid back and groovy people. Some of you are complete dicks. In the meantime, I am actually going to leave you with this. If you work for a store that has a sale in the summertime, and you label it, Christmas in July? F*** you. And I truly mean that. See you next week and uh, beware the tinsel. It's everywhere.